Okay, um, I got a stupid thing I bought that I thought I'd show you guys. And before I do that, I'll explain how I found it. Is uh, on the way to the Green Day concert, we got really bored. We ended up getting there really early, and so uh, we stopped at a couple places and checked out some different things. And uh, we stopped at a Christmas tree shop in I think it was New Hampshire, and I found this lovely piece of junk. It's a rubber, full-sized, fully flexible keyboard. Now they only had it in purple or pink, so I went with the slightly less feminine purple. Um, I almost did not bother, because it is kind of, it's stupid, but it's not that stupid, I guess, but I almost didn't bother until I read the back of the box. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, rubber keyboard, uh, flexible, full size, uh, it's touchable there, which the action actually feels okay-ish. Um, air touch keyboard, the strong silent type, and it's got system requirements. So... I'm going to be plugging this into a Mac, but I honestly don't think it's going to fucking matter. I can just plug it into my desktop, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll try it on the Mac. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll find it a little more useful. But, uh, now to the back of the box here. This is the best stuff here. Okay. This is the requirements. The package content contains the keyboard, the PS2 adapter, and the user's manual. Maybe anyway, it can be called main event, I guess. And this is this is the funny stuff right here. Okay, you can wash it at any time, even while you're using it. Evidently, probably not a good idea. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to. Okay, washable and hygienic. I don't see how it's hygienic, but I do see how it's washable. Okay, portable and storable. Okay, yeah. And here's my absolute favorite ever. Dust proof can used in the sandstorm. So, when the day comes where we get sandstorms in Maine, you guys won't be able to get on Facebook and I will because I got a fucking rubber keyboard. Kiss my ass. <laughs> no, and then like, my uh, my stepsister who was with me was like, well, maybe you can send it to people in Iraq. I mean, because they have sandstorms. I was like, yes, but who'd be using their computer in a sandstorm? It doesn't make any sense. And what we got? Uh, mildew and water resistant. Dump coffee on it. I can't imagine that's a very good idea. Um, looking for any other pieces of comedy gold on this. Finally, a ruggedized keyboard which can withstand all kinds of abuse! Exclamation point. This flexible keyboard made of high quality silicone material which offers the perfect combination of practicality, durability, cover, blah blah blah. Uh, blah blah blah. Simply wipe any spill liquid damp cloth and then continue working. Keyboard so flexible you can roll it up, bring it everywhere. Looks like keyboard can really handle any situation. Wow. Better uh, not leave you guys waiting and open this shit up. Okay. We have. Actually, why don't I. Maybe I should edit this together and reposition the camera here. Yeah, probably better. Here's the, uh, the keyboard. I'm gonna take this out of the packaging here some more. Oh, and it's got a manual. Oh, what fun. Oh dear. World keyboard. Manual. I love how they, how the uh, USB P and the PS2 adapter, they sh clearly show the picture of the uh, Microsoft ones. Never mind. It's something weird I would know. We need geek. Uh, <laughs> they have nice little pictures that go with it, too. Oh, these aren't going to be very visible. Maybe I should just scan this later. Warning. Do not puncture roll keyboard with shop objects. I'll just read it. Press. Uh, do not press on keyboard when rolled up. Put in an oven or near fire. Twist or pull keyboard. Place heavy objects on keyboards for long periods of time. Use oil or getting mixtures like acetone, total, etc. on keyboard. Made of high quality silicone. High dust proofs, keyboard can be used in dust fog and even sandstorms. They're still on the sandstorms thing. Why does somebody need a keyboard that they can use in a sandstorm? I don't understand this. Uh, up to two million keystrokes, long lasting. No sound when typing, no noise. This keyboard is perfect for the office, hospitals, classrooms, workshops, network bars, laboratories, kids' room, notebook, PC, army, etc. Huh. 
hospitals, classrooms, workshops, network bars, kids' room, notebook, PC, army. What? Whatever, okay, I'm gonna stop fucking around and let's try to test her out. Okay. Woo! Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see how this works. It's like, if you open up a keyboard ever, you find like a uh, plastic green board sort of thing in it, and that's all that's in here. And then you know, all the electronics are inside a, this little box right here. Okay. Setting the keyboard down. Maybe it's time for me to try to reposition the camera too so you can see the keyboard rather than me. Maybe. Good enough. Perhaps. Yeah, hey, this worked out. Okay. I gotta take all the twisty ties off this fucker. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Let's pull the PS2 adapter off. I wouldn't trust that thing. And we're plugging it into the Mac. Okay. I should have loaded up a. Some kind of, some kind of, uh, document program first. Tell me I've got something like that on this computer. That would be really unfortunate if I didn't. Sorry, you're not really able to see very much right now. Maybe I'll, I'll probably just edit this shit out later. Okay. Uh, S, D, F, G, K, L, semicolon. Okay. Um, backspace works. How about numlock? No light, but that's I'm on a Mac. That could very well be why. Um, Not bad. Uh, I think I held something else instead of shift, though. What? How did I do that? I know this isn't very interesting right now. Um, it pretty ki much kind of works. Um, okay. I know there was much you to see there, but uh, I can't really play this one out. Uh, it kind of works, but I would not want to type much on this. Like, if I was on a chat program and I had to use this, I'd be uh, absolutely shit out of luck. Um, because the weird thing about it, you kind of have to hit the buttons right in the center because the way they spring up, like if you hit them to a corner or a side, they don't work. Um, everything has to be like right dead in the center. Shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, eh, I spent money on stupider things than this, I guess. I mean, it, it works for what it's worth. Uh... I'm going to plug it into my desktop real quick while I still got some time here. See if the uh, numlock keys and stuff work. Okay. New hardware is installed and ready to use. Hey, and the LEDs do work. They're just kind of funky looking. But essentially this thing works if this seems like it would be useful to you great if not don't buy one I can't say I particularly recommend it it just feels really like I don't know it's just spongy feeling it's not very comfortable like you could type on it if you had to but you, you wouldn't you just wouldn't um, <laughs> Mostly just funny because, I mean, at least I got a keyboard I can use in the Sandstorm, right? Because everyone needs a Sandstorm proof uh, keyboard. <laughs> Alright. But yeah. Whatever. <laughs>